but I don't think we've 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 faced enough. Ooh. Man, look at those abs. <laughs> so you get ripped. He's got one of those uh, fancy little. Oh shit. Fancy little martial 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 machines. When we last left our Argonian hero, like and subscribe, we had made our way to Pinnacle Rock and freed it from the forces of order. Upon returning, Shagorov remarked that he was now dead and Jigalag had arrived. He grew in size and then disappeared. Very strange, but what else can you expect from the Shivering Isles and the Mad God's realm? Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. So last time, oops, we actually uh, spoke with Haskell, and Haskell said that we need to fix up a staff of Shagorath in order to basically become the Mad God as such, like to sit on the throne, uh, because if someone sits on the throne, there is a chance that Jigalag may not succeed. So we have got stuff to do, and that will start with... Yeah, remake the staff of Shagorath. Advise me to seek out remains the great library at Knife Point Hollow. Now, part of me feels like we've been to Knife Point Hollow before, but I could be wrong on that. Let's have a wee look at our map. No, we've not been there. It sounded really familiar. So maybe I remember it from like back in the day, you know? How do I get out of here? Yep. But we're getting towards the end now of the Shivering Isles, well, the major stuff. There's always going to be those little quests, and whether we'll find them all, I genuinely don't know. I I could, if I really wanted to, you know, 100% the game or whatever, I could definitely print out a list of every single quest, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't like doing that with my playthroughs because it doesn't feel as natural if you are hunting stuff out on a list, right? You're not naturally kind of discovering stuff. We're kind of running into that issue a little bit with Starfield at the moment in the sense that we've done a lot of the major quests and now we, we don't really know where to go. So we're kind of just investigating and poking around and finding stuff to do. And we are finding stuff to do, kind of. Slow, but we're getting there. But in like situations like that, at some point you need to go, yeah, if we're just arbit arbitrarily trying to track stuff down, is it as entertaining? And I don't know, I don't know if it is. Um, I, I, we did a recording this this week, obviously, of Starfield. I don't know, it felt a little bit flat because I was constantly just kind of like, oh, let's, uh, what do we do? Oh, let's do this. And I didn't really like that. I, I have found a few more things to do for the next couple of episodes, but it does kind of, you know, raise the point of, do we want the playthroughs to be... Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus, you scared the crap out of me again. Do we want the playthroughs to be that, you know checklisty type thing or just want to let it be natural right i like the idea of it being a natural playthrough where the story of the character kind of develops as you go rather than oh today we're doing this today we're doing that it, it that kind of sucks the fun out of it a little bit in my eyes uh, so i kind of like it oh oh a grand one. Oh, that must have been that's what we picked up right right um, we are just generally, generally going the wrong way completely, but I kind of want to get up this hill. I don't think we can now. Ah, fuck it. Well, I guess we'll go right in this way. Hopefully we don't fall off and die. But yeah, I don't like it when those, those recordings feel, oh fuck, <laughs> feel really flat. Oh, we are going down quick. Uh... Desperately hoping that we can kind of cling to this vertical cliff slightly. There we go. I guess it feels a little different with Starfield because it is a new game. 
I don't know if all quests have been discovered yet. But we've definitely done most of the major ones now. This, however, we have still got tons, tons to go off. Uh, there will be a huge amount of episodes left. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll fight you. Bring it on. A uh, huge amount of episodes yet, because we haven't even touched like one of the DLCs. We haven't touched... Uh, what do you call it? The... We've barely touched the main story. But yeah, Knights of the Nine, we've not touched at all. I'm sure there's something else I'm missing at the moment. Oh, another one. Cool. Neat. Come on, bring it on. Where are you? Oh, shit. Oh. Stop staggering me. There we go. There we go. Right. Grant. And we'll whack that on there. Neat, 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 neat. Do we need to repair anything? It has been a wee while since we have repaired stuff, so we, we may need to do that. Yeah, yeah, we definitely do. Oh. Hey, a little increase in armor too, that's always nice. It's very slow going. Upgrading some of these skills now that we're up near the high ends. Really struggling to get anywhere today on this. There we go. Right, now we are heading in the right direction, I think. Is that knife point hollowed in there? Oh, it bloody is. Right, great. Fantastic. Very strange looking ruin, isn't it? Where is it though? Where is the entrance? Inside the big tree? Probably. I seem to fucking find it though. There we go. Found it. Perfect. What wonders await us? Instantly some gold. Always good. I do find that I'm enjoying Oblivion a lot more than Skyrim at the moment. I, I think that's purely because... I, I guess the nostalgia factor is it's kicking up... Oh, fuck. It's kicking up big time on, on this at the moment. Whereas Skyrim... I don't know. It, it, it kind of feels done to death at times. It is... Oh, fuck. This is actually messing me up pretty, pretty good. Yeah, uh, it, it sort of feels done to death. A lot of people do Skyrim playthroughs. It, it's all over YouTube. And that's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment with it. Is, is I do get, I do watch a lot of, like, oh, oh, it's a grand one. Oh, no wonder, no wonder, no wonder, no wonder. It was tough. But yeah, I, I watch a little bit of Skyrim stuff every now, especially shorts and stuff like that. It's funny seeing what comes up out of other people's flip playthroughs, lovely little glitches and things like that. But yeah, there's that, that oversaturation of the market at the moment. Maybe it's because Anniversary Edition came out. I do recognise this. Why do I recognise this place? Like, how did I know that there would be a chest here? I don't know. It definitely rings a bell. Right. Can we go down there? I assume we can at some point. Let's just poke around a little bit first. Up here. It's a little, a little jarring there for some reason. A little bit of... Felt like lag, but I don't know if it... Ooh. Uh, huh. Not what I was expecting. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, who are you? Hello? Dias? I have been waiting for you, your grace. 
This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mytheria. Oh, okay. Shea Gorath has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of madness. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so here you are in my prison, seeking to supplant the one who placed me here. If you wish to take the place of Shale Gorath, then ask me what you will. Tell me about yourself. You were expecting a book, an ancient tome filled with the secrets that you seek. But instead you have found me, the last remnant. Individuality is an illusion. The details of my existence are no more important than the history of a stone. However, if you insist, I once served as the keeper of the great library of Jikalak. Tell me about the library. The great library. Was the height of logic and See, he's very sane, isn't he? Contained within its walls with the logical prediction of every action ever taken by any creature, mortal or daedric. Every birth, every death, the rise of Tiber Septum, the Numidium, everything, all predicted with the formula found within Jigalag's library. When Shea Gorath discovered the library, he had it burned, insisting that it was an abomination and that personal choice defied logical prediction. I am all that remains of the knowledge contained within the great library of Jigalag. He has the air of a disgruntled high school maths teacher. Just the way he describes the logic and the formula, it just makes him sound like he's just so bored of his job and trying to explain it to the dumb kids that rock in like myself. Uh, yeah, definitely... High school maths teacher vibes. Tell me about the library. We've already done that. How have you survived? Following each cycle of the Grey March, Shea Gorath has cast out or killed every aspect of order found in the Shivering Isles. I alone have survived. Shea Gorath cannot bring himself to destroy the knowledge that I possess. Instead, he's confined me to this place and forbidden me to die. <laughs> If only were that easy, right? Fate, predictably. Forbid your loved you ones to die. Oh, I've had enough. As you wish. Tell me about Knife Point Hollow. Knife Point Hollow is my prison. As the great library, it once contained all the knowledge in creation. However, spare me your grief. My imprisonment is as meaningless as my immortality. Time and place are nothing. Constructs of a feeble mortal mind attempting to categorize and understand the world around it. If you were one of the fortunate few, you would one day understand and accept this. However, you are not, and you will not. <laughs> Again, very much like a high school maths teacher. Just that whole, I know exactly who you are. You are a disappointment to yourself and your family and to me. And you will never achieve anything in your life in its entirety. Thanks, Teach. Steph. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But apotheosis is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. I will require two sacred... The Eye of Melka? And what was the other one? I can't remember. Tell me about the first item. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but few remain unseen by mortal eyes. The staff is a tool of great vision and thus requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen secrets firsthand. Sirta resides in the howling halls of I have Sirta, not Melka. Find her and bring me the eye that is seen that which no other has. Yeah, what's what's Melka then? Is that the second item? The trees and branches of this realm feed from a deep font of madness and mystery. One of the oldest trees no. named the Oh, Milkar. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm getting confused lies with. Lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. The tree will not surrender its secrets to one who has not earned them. Okay. So I must seek out the two parts. Yes. 
Only then can I create an appropriate vessel to hold the power that is inherent in the Lord of this realm. The staff may allow you to occupy the throne of madness, but understand that such a feat has never been attempted. All sources indicate that you will fail. It is a certainty. However, I also predict that this will not stop you from trying. Good to know. Uh, anything to know about the Eye of Surtur again? The staff of Shale Gorath has... Yeah, we've... Okay. Right. Tell me about the staff. I can create... Okay, so he's just going to go over the stuff we've already been over. Hmm. <clears throat> to you two. I'm going to drop a save here because it is probably a good place for a screenshot. Uh, is there anything else to actually look at in here? No. So maybe we do go down that little path that we saw before, right? Oh, oh shit. Because it must lead back up, right? There's madness oh. all down here. God, I did it again. Madness or... And... Nothing. Okay. Well, shit. Oh, it does actually have another section. Interesting. Who's there? Where are you? Oh, so there's actually people in here. Oh, they saw me. Right, let's get deal with these guys real quick. There we go. So what do you have? Grounding potion. Not that great, but I'll take it. Weakness to shock. Sure, I will take it. Anything else in here that we can grab? There's a little urn here. Sorcery potion. Anything up here? Oh, there is a chest. Oh, how do we get up there? Okay. There must be a way. You must be able to. Yep. Oh, look at that. Parkour master. All that for 25 gold. Woohoo. All right. Well, let's see where this takes us. There's another guy. Hey, send me. That's fine. Bish bosh bash. There we go. Dealt with them. Fatigue potion. Little cave that way. That is the only way. Okay. So I'm guessing this actually just takes... Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> I hate those things. Right, so there is actually someone else here. Yeah, there's a few. Okay. A bit of damage on him. Get back here, you... Oh, shit. There we go. Spell potion, right. Oh, good. So, yeah, there's more to this cave, which is uh, kind of nice. Whoop. There we go. Bit of amber. Nice, 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 nice. But where does this actually spit us out then? It's not, it's me. There we go. Right, we got an urn with a bit of potion. All good. Another potion. Another spell. Hello? Who's there? Yeah, surprisingly big, this place, considering we just managed to walk into, you know, exactly where we needed to be. There is a lot of stuff going on in here. Oh, hello. Some dude here, huh? Right, which one of these is real? Which one of these is his little machination? You're real, huh? Right, I do think we've actually got a soul from that one. Yes. Uh, Demon was saying that it is actually to do with one of their active effects, which is that they can reflect spells or... or dispel them. So that's why we weren't getting a soul every time. It wasn't that we were just crappy at actually hitting them. Well, I mean, that's definitely a possibility too. It's it's me, but it's more to do with the the effect it has 
Do we miss a turn off at any point there? I think we might have. Yeah, down here. Is there even down here? There is. Perfect. Oh, another dude down here. Another madness or thing down here as well. Come back, coward. There we go. Right, you've got magic potion. Nice, all good stuff. Chest here, average lock. Another void essence. Now that shot stuff added, didn't it? Is that everything down here? Feels like it. Yeah, that is everything down here. Okay, so that's a little dead end. That's good. Didn't get too lost in the uh, in the source there. So yeah, I guess we progress on this way. But yeah, much bigger than I expected in here. Kind of wondering where it's going to spit us out. I mean, they must have suspected that people would be jumping down here, right? Oh, maybe that's where you make the staff later, right? Yeah, it must be. Ah, okay, so that spits us out back here again. He says, not actually knowing where he is. Ah, right, okay. Okay, cool. We know where we are now. Right. Oh, fun little dungeon. Nice. Let's scoot out of here. And get back to finding the bits and bobs we need. Because bits and bobs we do need. Right, let's look at our map here. And we want to go to our quests. We've got one at Mill. Char and the Eye of Surtur, which is all the way over fucking here, jeez. Howling Halls by Deep Wallow. So I think best bet probably be go to this, to, to Milchar first, right? Yeah, let's go to Milchar. So that is slightly north and... Come on, brain. <laughs> to, to the west, right? <laughs> oh, it's that one. That's all I need to know. God, why did it take me so long to figure that out? Jeez, what is wrong with me? I mean, I know I'm having a bad week with my pain, but good God, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, I feel that's another reason that it felt kind of flat recording Starfield this week, is I have just been in a ton of pain, and it's just been an absolute nightmare to sort of work through it. You know, I, I don't. As much as I do mention in it, and I do talk about the fact that I've got this condition, I, I like to think it doesn't affect me that much most of the time. I might be a little bit, you know, sore or pissed off or something, but I, I, I just kind of go through the the motions and and, and fi figure stuff out. But yeah, with with oh, there we go. But yeah, with what's going on, uh, just. In general, being as busy as I am at the moment, just a nightmare. Right, you come here. Go on. I want you? Oh, you you froze me, you prick. Oh, you little bastard. Am I am I literally gonna? You know, I'm gonna get a potion of dispel. Does that actually get rid of it? Yeah, I think it does. Ah, there we go. Okay, he's dead. Let's go stick another heart in this before it resets. Okay, there we go. That's dead. Priest is dead. You're dead. Everything is right with the world. It's kind of strange getting back into like actually dealing with obli uh, the the oblivion gates, right? What do you mean he's why can't I? 
There we go. Now we can. That was weird. Take those, I guess. Do I want more hearts of order? Not really. There is another one here that we could grab, though. That just resets, it restocks the ones that we have, right? So that's that's all we need. But yeah, on the days where it is really bad, the pain. It, 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 it you'd be hard pressed to find anyone. It, oh Jesus, that it didn't affect. There we go. But we seem to be... I, I want to say it's coming right. I'd, I'd like to think it is. Common. That'll do. Oh, you, you know what? I'm going to charge that one up just because I, I don't like it being there. It's, it annoys me. Right. There we go. Oh. Another one of you bastards, huh? Where did you come from? There we go. No charge again. Damn it. Is there another crystal or something around here? No, but I'm guessing the forces of order are here. Alright, let's uh, poke around a little bit. Looks like there's a little building down here. Can we get inside it? Uh, I guess we can. Milchar Tiris. Is that where you get spat out? Because that doesn't seem to be the main entrance, does it? Yeah, it must be, because look, it's over here. Hey, friendos. Don't mind me. I'm just going to navigate my way around to this dungeon that we're supposed to be going to. Hello. Uh. Actually, surprisingly tough. Oh god, now we're gonna do a stupid fucking uh. shot. Right, okay. And another belly walk. Great. Great, great, great. Let's uh, recharge our stuff. So at least we've got a little bit of a a buff, a buff, a, a boof against these little bastards. That's better. Oh my god, so many of them, god damn it. Yeah, can you quit it? Okay, yeah, we're definitely poisoned at the moment, so let's go ahead and get poison. And a few potions of healing should do it. They are actually kicking my ass. What else we got? Potions of warmth. Strong potions of healing. That'll do. Two of those. I just want to trap your soul. I just want to put you in a gem. Is that really such a bad thing? There we go. One down. Should help a little bit. Right, let's go ahead and grab our... We've got a lot of spells to clear out. Let's grab R. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Let's just block the next attack. Stagger them a little bit. Bit of damage. Block. Bit of damage. Nice. That's much better. But that one wasn't as tough. Alright, let's go back to healing, shall we? Looks like our entrance over there. Fantastic. And our weapon is half charged now as well. Oh, fuck. Okay, another one. Great. Well. We're on it. I think this is one of the tougher ones. We might get a greater soul out of this and almost fully recharge our weapon. Yeah, there we go. Boop. Done. Done and dusted. Yeah, noble. Afford as much. Look at the staff, shall we? Oh, someone sees me. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh, 
Have it? Stop it? I don't, I don't appreciate it. Okay, there we go. Another heal. Fantastic. Oh, it's a null. You know, we've not fought one of these in a while. We tend to avoid them because they're silencers. And they've got that weed resistance thing. But I don't fancy switching my uh switch my battle style all the time, so it sucks to be them. Oh, skeleton key coming in clutch, which is always nice. Go that way or we can go that way? Hmm. Left is right. No, left is Oh no, no, left does go somewhere. Oh, it goes to a dead end. Well, there's a chest at least. Jeweled amulet, warmth, gold. Good stuff. It's weird that it's labelled chest when it's an urn. Oh well. Not a big... No, well, it's not even a problem. It's free stuff. Shut the fuck up, Sunfire. Jeez. Just accept the gifts that you've been given. Let's get soul trap on you. There we go, and that looks like it's a bigger room, so let's go down this way. Can I... Oh, okay. I guess we're stuck down here. Nice. No Recharge on that, fantastic. Let's heal ourselves up a little bit. That poison does do a lot of damage. Oh, hello. Are you coming up to get me? There you are. I think it's the same attack style as the day drops. It feels like it. But I don't think we've felt, we've we've faced enough. Ooh. Man, look at those abs! So <laughs> you get ripped. It's got one of those uh, fancy little oh shit, fancy little muscle mu muscle muscle machine. There's a chest in here for us though. See, I'm, I'm doing it now. I'm calling them chests. Um, what do we got? Not much. Oh oh god, we are stuck. Oh, there we go. Right, we're free. Oh, okay. So that goes to a bigger room too. That seems to be the way to go, so maybe we'll backtrack a little bit and... Oh, we can't. We can't. Okay. I'm guessing that this may need into that then? Yeah, it must do. Is this our big open room? Yeah, it is. And then this is... Yeah, that's the way we came in. Right. Fantastic! Nice. Let's do that. A little bit of a heal. And you know what? We should definitely repair our stuff up again. We are getting low on the old... Repair hammers again. I think we definitely need to head back to the mainland at some point. Get ourselves a spell that does actually boost our. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. There's a button. Does that stop you from firing at me? I guess so. Yeah, and boost up on our, our armor skill. So we can actually. Oh. Skelly man. So we can get away with uh, not having to deal with carrying around tons of repair hammers. Let's deal with you. Come on, swing. There we go. Grand. A surprising amount of st stolen items. Amulet of Absorption, Expert Retort, Potion, Spell, another Grand Soul. We could definitely work at making some better armor. 
Although, to be fair, the stuff that we've got is pretty dang good. I don't think actual Daedric armor is better. To be fair, I don't even know if it matters. Right, down we go. Onwards to... The Nexus. What do we got? Chest with four sapphire, bit of gold, not bad. I did say the tree will will make us put up a bit of a fight. Is it does it mean all the creatures that we have to face in here or something else? Whoop. Nice try. Well that's I'm sorry, I was changing spells, so <laughs> I feel like that's a bit unfair on my part. Okay, there we go. Grab that. Recharge, bit of heal. Let's go this way. Deal with you. Aha, just before you silence me. Nice, that worked out very well for us. I'm just gonna wait for the silence spell to run out now, I suppose. Oh, okay, so that takes us to another area. It's not where we want to go. That might be our way out, actually. Oh, we did look in there. This one we did not. What have you got? Elven shield. What's our carry weight? Getting up there. Guess we're not taking that. Bound bow. Huh. I actually forgot there were bound weapons. In no, no, I didn't. You can get bound mace and stuff. Oh, we'll see if we've got bound bow. I don't know if we do. What's up here? Amber boots matrix. I mean, I'll take it. I don't think I'll use it, but I'll take it. Ah, Realm of Shagorath. Okay, so that spits us back outside somewhere. Were. Oh, root door to Milchar. Where, whereabouts are we? Okay, so if you could actually find a few little ways in and out, which is kind of nice. All right. Okay, what else? We've we been this way. Tyrus. No. So where are we supposed to be going here? Oh, is this the tree? This is the tree. Oh. How do we... Ah. Uh -huh. Right. Grove of Reflection. How very positively inspiring. Arrived in the Grove of Reflection. According to Dias, I must locate the Tree of Shades. Find a way to reveal my true self. Oh, I know exactly what this will be. This is... Is this... Do you fight your own character at this point like they've got exactly the same skills it's like a almost is it legend of zelda that does that where you fight like a shadow link it might be yeah i think you do fight yourself i mean it, what a what a common trope for rpgs right how many times do you see that in rpg games i feel like we see it a lot i remember doing it in diablo as well one of the diablos you fight yourself it's like one of the main bosses, you have to fight like shades of yourself. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good trope. It works. Uh, an unseen force holds it fast. Uh, okay, so you gotta defeat yourself and then it'll let you back out that way, right? Shortcut. Oh, how very pretty. Let's uh, drop another save, because this might be a good screenshot too, depending on how the brightness goes. Uh, yes, save there. Very nice. But yeah, we are totally going to be fighting ourselves, right? Oh. Hello. In all the same gear as well? I wonder if you can cheese it in that sense, then. Oh. Oh no, he summoned a scamp. Where am I? Oh, I'm there. Okay, 
if I just wail on him enough, he will... Oh, there he is, oh, bastard, get back here. Yeah, if I go in naked... What happens then? Get your fucking scamp out of the way. Okay. After I approached the Grove of Reflection, a shadowy image of myself appeared from the waters of the Grove and attacked me. I defeated it, and now the Tree of Shades is beckoning to me. Ooh, with its come to bed eyes. Shadow Rend. Oh, I'm over encumbered. I can't do anything else. Let's uh, have a look at what we've got here. We have got probably a bunch of stuff that we could drop, maybe? A dark mace. We don't need that. We don't need a golden longsword. I mean, it'd be good to keep them, potentially, but eh, I don't know. Do we need that? God, I don't know. What else can we do? We'll drop the elven shield. We'll drop... As much as it pains me, I'm going to drop the Madness Shield too. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Yeah, we'll leave those there. Okay. Where's my... Where's my Shadow Corpse? There it is. Can I... Oh, I can still hit it. Neat. Right, well the tree's beckoning to me, but where is the... Where is the damn tree? Is this the tree? This is the tree. Hello! I have fought myself. Uh... Am I supposed to go up here? What am I... Oh, there we go. Tree of Shades. As Dice requested, I've taken a branch of the Tree of Shades. I should now seek out Serta in the Howling Halls. Ooh, very good, very good, very good. Right, I'm assuming now we can leave via this fancy way out, right? Yes, we can. Oh, there is a chest here, or something. No, it's a teleport pad. Oh, I remember. We're not dealt with these met very often. Ah... And it just spits us out back here. Interesting. So, which way out do we go? We've been in there. Okay, so I guess we go up. Let's have a look. Because there were several other ways. Oh, I guess we just leave. Okay, fine. <laughs> Dungeon just wants us to fuck off. Great, <laughs> we'll do that. Hey. Hi. I will need to take your soul because uh, fighting myself took a lot of lot of the charge away. Okay, there we go. Right. Let's go ahead and recharge that. I may, in between episodes, go back and sell some stuff off. Kind of get our carry weight down a little. It's probably wise to do so. Let's have a look at Shadow Rend because I don't remember Shadow Rend at all. Damage health and weakness to magic. Ooh. That does seem pretty good. How does that compare to our mace that we're wielding? Oh, it's it's pretty much on par, and our oh, it's considered blunt. Oh, I'm surprised that that's an axe, right? Oh, I'm still attacking apparently. Yeah, it's an axe. And I can't use a shield when I do, when I use that. I would expect that to do a lot more. Uh, right, where is our shield again? Do I need to equip that again? No, it's already on. Okay, cool. Yeah. Interesting. So yeah, I, I, this is probably a perfect place to leave it, because what I'll do is I'll go sort out my inventory. Uh, next episode we will come back, and I'll probably be either in New Sheoff, or we will go straight to the Howling Halls and uh, go from there. But yeah, next episode we will find the Eye of Surtur and remake the staff in order to assume the throne, become the Daedric Prince we always wanted to be. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now. Is it pond scum?